Now we want to connect the plane with our living room cabinet wall to the floor plan. First, I want to rename this plane and enter 1 to 20 living room cabinet wall. And here 150 floor plan. This is very important. Now we choose a completely new plane. And in this plane, we enter model cabinet wall, want to edit it, and here's the important part. Always set the base height to zero. We confirm with OK. We set the scale settings to 150, of course. Here we can influence the order again, but we can leave it as is. I confirm with OK and now have a completely empty plane. In this plane, I can now use the command view slash link layers to link the desired planes. And for this, we have this plane floor plan, and I select the living room cabinet wall plane while holding the control key. I simply confirm with OK. And now I get the result here. I have already set up a camera in the cabinet wall plane here in 2D plan. I could simply copy it and paste it in the model plane at the original position. In the floor plan plane, we have our rectangle object which we can see in the top view, and here we can easily modify it. In this model plane, we still need a floor and a ceiling. I can achieve that since it's a normal drawing plane, not a layout plane. So I can simply draw a rectangle over it, set the extrusion to 0 mm, and I can also assign a texture to this object. We have the Factor Works Libraries folder with visualization materials, and I can simply assign any texture definition here. We just assigned the texture. So now, in the model plane, we have the cabinet wall and the floor and ceiling objects, which we can visualize and modify. We can also further work on these objects or adjust them as needed. This allows us to create an integrated and realistic model. I will simply choose cherry wood. Air away for now. I double click and now it's assigned. I can now copy and edit it, then paste it in the original position. I can insert another object here for the ceiling with a Z height of 2500. I can also assign a texture to it. Let's choose plastered for now. I confirm with OK, and now I can select the camera and activate the camera view from here. I can now see the corresponding result. We can now navigate in this model using the view menu. We can create a new view range and, of course, keep the camera on the construction plane. We don't need drawing labels, and the output can be on a 3 or a 2 landscape, for example.
we can now see that in the info palette, we have a red update button. Let's click on it. And now we have the updated view. We can also create a copy here. We can make the construction lines invisible using the class visibility. We can adjust the quality here. Let's set it to 250 or 300 dpi. I confirm with OK. And now simply select the interior view representation. It updates, and we get a new result here. I can continue creating more examples here. I can also work with the boundary to limit the area. Let's exit the editing mode. We can also assign a different edge style here. 